Hello everyone. You know this is behind the mask. It's Saturday afternoon. I think it's June 28th, something like that. And I am spending the day in Hamburg. And as you can see, I'm at a very famous square in Europe, in Hamburg, called Rathaus Markt, which of course means Town Hall Market. So you can guess that around the town halls in the old days, maybe even in current times, um, they have um, you know, different kinds of farmers markets and things like that. So I want to show you, uh, close up I guess, or more slowly, this lovely square. It reminds one a little of um, the Rathaus in Munich, but of course it's just as big as the one in Munich, but much, much, much different architect. More like Victorian architecture that you would find uh, in uh, Whitehall in London. So this is where we are in, uh, in Hamburg, and I'm going to try to show you around a few other things in Hamburg. Hamburg as I've said in one of my other videos from Berlin, Hamburg, or Hamburg is, a, um, is a state. Germany has a federal system with 16 states, and Hamburg is one of the three cities in Germany that are also states, Hamburg, Bremen, and Berlin. So this is not just a city hall, it is also the uh, headquarters of the state government. Lübeck uh, was offered uh, the status as an old Hanseatic city as well was offered the status of statehood, but they turned it down. So they're just a part of Schleswig-Holstein. Um, they're not even the capital of Schleswig-Holstein. Kiel is. Hamburg, like Rotterdam. I know the wind is blowing, but I'm going to try to speak anyway because I don't have a wind, uh, my wind filter built into the camera is not, uh, is not as good as it should be, so I, and I don't have an external wind filter, but we're going to try to talk through the wind anyway. Um, like Rotterdam, Hamburg is a huge international port, and the port is about uh, a mile down that way and then about a half a mile to the right. And the thing about Hamburg that's so interesting is uh, the city planners decided on purpose to keep the port within the environments of downtown Hamburg to give some energy and uh, actually to pump up real estate values because a lot of people, like in places like Chicago, they like the raw nature, making sure my back's still out, they like the raw nature of, uh, of cities as well as sophisticated nature. So right here is an important spot because if you look right in the foreground, there's a lock there. As you can see, the level of the water is about six feet higher on this side of the lock where those red lights are than on the other side. And here's the reason. Directly in front of me before the lock is the Ulster River. And the Ulster River goes north of here and makes all kinds of beautiful lakes for canoeing and boating uh, inside the city of Hamburg. And it's very, very pretty. Some neighborhoods are very pretty. It's a little bit like Minneapolis with the lakes inside people's neighborhoods. But the other side of the lock, where the water is lower, that's the Elbe River. That's water coming in from the Elbe River, which is about a mile south of here where the port is. And the Elbe River is an estuary. So that means on the other side of the lock is, there's an Arab talking loud next to me, so I'm gonna try to ignore it. On uh, where the Elbe River is, there's a, uh, there's a, uh, it's salt water, brackish water. It's a combination of salt water and fresh water. I'm going to stop it until this guy's done talking. You thought I was just making excuses, didn't you? <laughs> okay, so. So anyway, what I was saying was, um, on the other side of the lock, the water comes in from the Elbe River, and the Elbe River at this point is an estuary, much like the Delaware River at Philadelphia is an estuary. And so um, it's salt water, it's brackish water, a combination of salt water and fresh water, and so the fish are different as well. The fish and uh, the aquatic life in general are different on one side of the lock than they are on this side of the lock. So I just wanted to point that out to you, something that's interesting. And so this is the Ulster River, and then the Ulster um, branches off in all kinds of different canals 
where um, uh, smaller ships could pull up or ships that unloaded bigger ships could pull up to um, dockside warehouses like in Amsterdam and unload things. So I know I'm spending a lot of time on this and it's going to take 20 hours to download it, but I think it's really interesting to show you that uh, Hamburg is uh, a city with uh, canals just like Amsterdam, but they also um, pay very, very special attention at separating the fresh water from the brackish salt water. So we're going to take a look around here along the Ulster. If you look straight ahead, the first of the very small lakes, it's in downtown, um, we will go there. It's called the Binnen Ulster, which means the inner Ulster. And um, some of the most famous corporate headquarters and banks are located along that. It's the most, one of the richest addresses in Europe for a business, prestigious. And so we'll take a walk up there later, but I just wanted to show you um, that the Ulster River now um, comes down from that direction. There's all kinds of beautiful rivers, and the one closest to the Elbe is the one downtown called the Binnen Ulster, which is just the other side of where those uh, where those buses are. Okay, so this is one of the uh, many shopping streets in downtown uh, Hamburg that are a mall. There's about ten of them. And as you can see, uh, people are busy shopping. I don't know what street this is, and I know I should. And I asked um, two groups of people who looked like they were from around here. They didn't know the name of this street. So you tell me. But uh, I'm sitting here with the camera, and uh, a mother with her 12-year-old uh, daughter walked by clearly on a shopping trip. And they looked at my camera and looked at me and smiled. They seem to be so proud that there's tourists here. <laughs>